Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the United Engine Corporation's new gas turbine engine, the AL-41ST. Russia's first industrial fifth-generation experimental engine is a high-tech device that rivals the top models in its power class worldwide and even outperforms them in certain important areas. The first AL-41ST-25 engine will undergo a pilot industrial operation at Gazprom Transgas Kazan LLC's Arskaya Compressor Station. According to Gazprom CEO Alexei Miller, the power plant will run for 5,000 hours to show its dependability and efficiency. This is a big deal for the Russian gas industry. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, Western countries imposed a wide range of sanctions on Russia, including restrictions on the export of certain technologies and equipment. These sanctions were designed to pressure the Russian economy and limit its ability to wage war. Gas turbine engines are essential components of natural gas pipelines, which are used to transport gas from producing countries to consumers. Russia is a major exporter of natural gas, and many European countries rely on Russian gas for their energy needs. Some of the sanctions imposed on Russia restrict the export of gas turbine engines and related technology. This has created a challenge for Russia, as it must maintain its gas pipelines to continue exporting gas. Russia has accused the West of using sanctions to weaponize energy supplies, while Western countries have said that the sanctions are not intended to target the energy sector. One of the most high-profile cases involving sanctions and gas turbine engines is the Nord Stream pipeline, which runs from Russia to Germany. In July 2022, a Siemens gas turbine engine that was needed for pipeline maintenance was stuck in Canada due to sanctions. After much back and forth, Canada eventually granted a sanctions waiver to allow the turbine to be returned to Germany. However, Russia has refused to take delivery of the turbine, claiming that it could still be subject to sanctions. Russia is building its own gas turbines. In 1991, the renowned AL-31F engine of the military aircraft SU-27 was reprofiled as a drive for petrol pumping units in terrestrial applications by the Moscow Scientific and Technical Center named after Alyalka. The first acceptance tests of the new aviation drive were conducted in 1994 at Tyumin Transgaz LLC's compressor station, Karpinskaya. However, it required some time to create a mutually beneficial partnership. In December 2002, the first unit, GPA-16R Ufa, made by the Ufa Engine Production Association, was introduced. The project's viability was unquestionable, but there were concerns about the drive's flaws. Intensive joint work between Bosch gear gas carriers and Ufa engine builders over several years considerably boosted the reliability of the AL-31 Saint. In 2015, the program was expanded, Gazprom abolished all limits on the engine's use in the company's planned investment projects. The 16 MW AL-31ST engine powered the repaired CS-17 Pollyanna and CS-19 Chiron at Gazprom Transgazufa LLC in 2022. It is in high demand with the other Gazprom facilities, including the Bovenenkovo field and the Siberia gas pipeline. The AL-41ST gas turbine engine is the project's next step. The June 2019 Agreement of Understanding between UEC and Gazprom PJSC governs the development of the AL-41 ST25 engine. The plan calls for building a brand new, 25 megawatts gas turbine engine that is incredibly efficient. There are plans to develop an entire family of extremely efficient gas turbine drives for gas pumping units with a capacity of 25, 32, and 42 megawatts, all based on a single gas generator. The AL-41ST is a 25-megawatt gas turbine engine that is designed to be more efficient and reliable than previous models. It has a unified gas generator that can be used with engines ranging from 32 to 43 megawatts, which makes it a versatile option for a variety of applications. One of the key features of the AL-41ST is its high efficiency. Engineers estimate that the engine's efficiency is 39.1%, and it is possible to increase it to 40%. This is significantly higher than the efficiency of conventional engines, which is typically around 38.5%. The AL-41ST is also more reliable than previous models. It can operate continuously for at least 120,000 hours, which is a new milestone for Russian engineering. 
The AL41ST has a number of benefits, including Increased efficiency, the engine's high efficiency will save Gazprom money on fuel costs. Increased reliability, the engine's long operating life will reduce maintenance costs. Reduced emissions, the engine's clean burning design will help to reduce Gazprom's environmental impact. Import substitution, the engine is made in Russia, which will help to reduce Gazprom's reliance on foreign imports. The United Engine Corporation's AL41ST gas turbine engine is a major breakthrough for the Russian engineering industry. It is more efficient, reliable, and environmentally friendly than previous models, and it will help Gazprom to save money and reduce its environmental impact. I'm excited to see how this engine is used in the future, and I think it has the potential to make a big difference in the Russian energy sector. What do you think of the AL41 first engine? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this content, Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.